The voltage applied to an X-ray tube is 18 kilo volts. The maximum mass of photon emitted by the X-ray tube will be. So, for the mass, first of all, we need to understand. We need to use Einstein equation for mass energy equation. Mass energy equation in order to find out the mass of this photon. So, which says delta E is equal to delta m into c square so delta m this delta m is nothing else the mass of photon emitted so this is going to be delta e divided by c square now we have this is our tube for example just symbolically i am making and suppose if this is your x ray tube now what do we have we have 18 kilo volts voltage is applied across this tube is 18 right so if 18 kilo volts voltage is applied so we can say we we are interested in maximum mass that means delta m max will represent delta e max divided by c square how do we find delta e max so delta e max simply e into v max right so directly we will be getting in elect, uh, electron volts so uh, now i can substitute these values so delta m max is equal to e into v max divided by c square if i substitute the value delta m max is going to be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 this is charge value e V max is 18 kilo volts, which is 18 into 10 to the power 3 volts divided by c square, 3 into 10 to the power 8 whole square. Correct. So let us do the calculation. So 1.6 into 18 into this is going to be 10 to the power minus 19, 10 to the power uh, 3. So 10 to the power minus 16 into this is going to be 10 to the power 16. so let's say 1 divided by 9 into 10 to the power 16 perfect so this is going to be 2 so i can get from this so this is going to be 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 32 kg right so now you can see that we know that mass of electron is 9 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg approximately you can see this is even less than the mass of the electron also so that's why you can say this is very small significance i am just explaining m is equal to n not under root 1 minus v square upon c square this is in theory of relativity that's why we say that if suppose if photon is not moving then we have to say that it has rest mass zero so basically but in this question they were asking the maximum mass of the photon so this can be 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 32 kg so which option has to be the right choice obviously option number 3